be here in today's video i'm going to share with you three profitable amazon kdb keywords that will help you to create low content and medium content books and just before we get started we do daily videos talking about profitable amazon kdb keywords so if you're interested in these kind of videos go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon all KDP keywords in this channel are carefully researched using a couple of different profitability metrics that I will break down for you and also using four free Chrome extensions. And I have currently added a fifth Chrome extension that is called KDP extension that you can get on kdpextension.com. And uh, also let's get started with the first keyword for today's video. And the first keyword for today's video is how to draw books for kids, eight to 12 horses so it's specifically a how to draw book that is for children that are between the ages of eight years old to 12 years old and it is regarding horses then you can go ahead and even sub niche further if you would like to specific types of horses whether they are horses as in like ponies whether they're horses to do with illustrations and uh, specific themes mainly for little uh, girls, such as, for example, ponies, uh, these kind of different uh, illustrations, or whether they are racing horses as well. Now you can niche down, you can create just a general book, but preferably an 8.5 times 11 book would be amazing for that one. And it'll leave a lot of space for the beautiful little children to uh, doodle, to uh, uh, have that space to be creative and uh, to draw and to learn as well so it has a qr near score of 61 by self-publishing titans chrome extension green light right here i'm pretty happy with the keyword near score as well as a keyword near score of number eight by amazon scout pro chrome extension which gives us this beautiful uh, green uh, sorry yellow color right here categorizing this as a nice niche and number nine is the highest on the scale in regards to keyword near score so i'm pretty happy with number eight here and it complements the 61 beautifully Coming to the total results, they're sitting at 603 and the total results are under 1000, which is ideal. The average bestseller rank is currently at 102,978, which is below 300,000. The average reviews are a massive 2,866 and the average price is at $8.60. Highly recommend to get into, into this niche as soon as possible. Create multiple books as well would be ideal for uh, drawing horses for children. Also, maybe create a, a one specific for boys, specific for girls, types of horses as well. If you would like to dive in further, as we said, now let's go ahead and check Creative Fabrica and see how to draw specifically when it comes to horses. Now, if the results don't show us a lot of interior, I haven't done this before, so I'm doing it live with you at the moment. Uh, we currently have a total of 10 results, but we want to specifically focus on uh, KDP interiors. So we have a total of nine pure results. We've got 60 pages here, 100 pages, another 100 pages as well, 100. Um, so they're all to do with types with uh, drawing horses in relation to drawing horses in general. So what do you do if you want a specific type of horse? So let's have a look to see what are the types of horses that we can be able to create for. Um, we could also include a book um, uh, that uh, has uh, different types of horses for children that will really help them to learn about horses to maybe learn around about fun facts about each different type of breed of horses for example we've got the arabian horse the frisian horse the shire the american paint the Turkoman, as well the dutch the american culture as well that's the most common types of breeds of horses that we can offer a different types of illustrations for children learning to how, to how to draw them as well as providing a box underneath or maybe on top of the title uh, or below the title on fun facts about these specific types of breeds maybe dedicate 10 uh, pages for arabian horse uh, 10 or 20 pages for shire like equal amount of pages for different types of breeds of horse would be amazing it would be a wonderful interactive and educational book 
for children regarding um, horses. So that was the first keyword, how to draw books for kids, eight to 12 horses. Let's dive into the second keyword in today's video. And the second keyword is shadow work journal and workbook for a black woman. And it has a keyword new score of 69 green light, quite strong keyword new score here. I'm happy with that by self-publishing titans and a keyword new score of number seven by Amazon Scout Pro Chrome extension, categorizing this wonderful keyword as a nice niche. Also, we have the total results are below 1000. Total results are currently sitting at 232. Average bestseller rank is also ideal because it is under 300,000 and it's sitting at an average of 239,153. The average reviews are 243 and the average price is $13.40. We have a beautiful long tail keyword right over here. We have the type of book, which is a journal and a workbook. So it's a combination of a journal and a workbook. Workbook is more to do with activities, uh, different activities as well that we can incorporate a journal, maybe incorporate some self, uh, uh, some uh, journal prompts as well to do with shadow work. Now, if you're not familiar with shadow work, it's basically a type of new age um, healing th uh, therapy uh, that's people practice um, regarding with helping them to uh, work through the traumas of their uh, of their subconscious mind and it says here that it is about developing self-awareness and ultimately self-acceptance and compassion it's also a therapy and it's also more spiritual as well in that sense and it works with the subconscious mind to uncover the parts of yourself that you repress and that you hide hide and it could include trauma it could include parts of your personality that you consider are undesirable and anyone can do shadow work so why are we specifically focusing on black women because the cover will um be different in a way where you know you need to make it specifically for this wonderful type of um uh, types of women maybe go in to create a fabrica and write black woman you will find amazing beautiful illustrations that you can use as part of your cover as part of your interior as well scattered in between your interior to help in adding that wonderful aesthetic look and feel and theme and maintaining that consistent theme as well we've got this here black girl a combination of 15 clip art that you can use this is more regarded towards the black um girls that are much more younger if you're creating anything to do with um with that these are a combination of 1000 positive affirmations for black women you could also use that and weave that in adding a positive affirmation per page because yes you are doing shadow work which you're going to be working with your um with the subconscious mind and with trauma but you really it really kind of gets dark when you're working a lot with your traumas and trying to unveil them and trying to work out what really does stress you and the parts of yourself that you're not happy with and you know face them face to face so it can be quite traumatizing and quite hard for some people maybe having a, a affirmation of the day maybe dividing your pages having a 365 day shadow work journal and workbook for black women so you're going to have a yearly one maybe have a 52 week one where there would be one journal prompt per week so there is a just a couple of different ways that you'll be able to work through and sub niche whether you want it to be a daily a weekly a monthly whether you want to have uh, information in there also as an introduction of what is shadow work as a um, as a way of helping people understand what is shadow work and how they can be able to use it correctly and how can they be able to be gentle with themselves while doing the shadow work prompts and dealing with their subconscious mind triggers and patterns and traumas how can they kind of still maintain and be self-accepting and not to be harsh on themselves and also having a disclaimer section in the book just a small box uh with the, the text that this book or this uh, workbook is for educational purposes only it's not to be used as a form of like uh, medical therapy or uh, as a substitute for psychological treatment that way you'll be clear from the legal perspective and also make it clear to your wonderful audience that uh, they should also see a psychologist if they feel the need to and that they should not rely completely on this journal as a form of therapy so that was the second keyword for the day and the third and the final keyword for the day is medical coding and billing cheat sheet
and it has a wonderful strong keyword niche score on both ends. First of all, self-publishing titans has given this a keyword niche score of 83. Beautiful green light right here, bright green. And it's indicating the keyword strength. Also, we have a keyword niche score by Amazon Scout Pro, which gives us a number nine, the right end of the scale in regards to the keyword niche score, categorizing this beautiful keyword as a great niche. The total results are under 1,000. They're sitting at 279,000. And sorry, they're sitting at a total results of 279,000. And the average bestseller rank is 197,144, which is under 300,000. The average reviews are 956. And the average price is $14.22. This will be a cheat sheet. This will be a logbook as well, uh, preferably because it has something to do with billing, coding. Now let's head over to Creative Fabrica and see is there anything regarding the interior that will be able to use and if not then you can also have a look at other books that are being published use them as inspiration there's nothing on that um, as of now so we're going to go medical coding see what kinds of things are available for us unfortunately just simple uh, text as well as some graphics that you may be able to use let's go to medical coding medical billing and see what comes up hopefully we have some interiors to work with and if not then we can also have a second option which is filtering according to kdp interiors this is a doctor's visit so it's not really specifically focused on medical billing but another thing we can try if we come across a keyword with a massive beautiful potential in regards to profitability we're not going to give up on this just yet we're going to have a look at some of the um you know, some of the books that are selling, and yes, they're cheat sheet related, but there is still space for um, for us as self-publishers to dive in and to create a book in regards to the cheat sheet. So maybe use AI assistance such as ChatGBT in regards to coming up with some ideas, such as coming up with a, you know, formulating a cheat sheet or a combination of different cheat sheets, preferably minim minimum uh, number of pages would be 20, 20 to 30 pages of cheat sheets that are all divided according to the different sections and stuff so use it as a brainstorming aid as well alternatively you could also outsource to a writer and say i want you to create 30 40 page in kdp interior regarding medical coding and billing cheat sheet and they will be able to create that for you and you'll be able to use it on amazon kdp so i wish you all the best in regards to the keyword medical coding and billing cheat sheet which has a keyword new score of 83 and as a quiz summary there was the previous keyword which was shadow work journal and workbook for a black woman with a niche score of 69 and previously we had how to draw books for kids 8 to 12 horses with a keyword niche score of 61 if you enjoyed today's video like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye